Should be all right. Let's get into the prawn suit. Let's get into the prawn suit and beat the shit out of the emperor. Wow! That was loud and crazy. What happened? What's up, people? I'm IGP, and welcome back to Subnautica. We're back with the IG Paradise, and today we are doing yet again some more base showing off. Uh, I'm not going to build anything because I suck. At building and plus I don't have time for it so today I'm gonna to be showing you guys two bases that I really enjoy the first one as you can see it's pretty magnificent this is by Sir Fox and it's called Atlantis it's uh it's pretty expansive it's pretty expansive so I'll read you guys the story real quick keep in mind if you want to check this out for yourself I will put the link to download it in the description below so you guys can load it up and play for yourself maybe you'll add something to it you know maybe you'll make it even better also don't forget if you guys want to submit your own base to me to potentially show off in a video that information is in our Discord server, the IG Paradise, if you want to check it out. Link is down in the description below. So the story reads Atlantis. We all know the story of Atlantis, the sunken city, but what most don't know is that it was built by the precursors when they visited Earth, when they still had their physical bodies. They built Atlantis as a copy from a planet far away from Earth, aka this one. As the time went by, they saw the destructive nature of humans, and they couldn't let it happen again, not on another planet. Therefore, they sunk the city, taking all the advanced technology with it, and most of them leaving Earth to find their civilizations. Only a couple remained. Wait, what? Soon after, there was an outbreak of a deadly virus in the universe, and precursors, with their vast knowledge, tried to cure it, but with no success. As a side effect of all the research, they figured out how to shed their physical bodies and live as pure energy, ascend, if you will. Some say they still linger, searching for the cure. The Atlantis, the original one, is on planet 4546B, left there for someone to find it, and that someone is us. So we're gonna go down and take a look at this beautiful thing. Ooh, there's a nice little screenshot of it. Nice. It's too bad that the game doesn't load up detail from that far away, because it would look even cooler all right so we got our typical home here we're all set up with food and coffee to last us forever uh we have no pet friends no pet friends nobody loves us got nuclear power just rocking away and here we go whoa oh wait oh dude that is that is awesome i don't know how long this has been in subnautica i haven't picked it up in about seven months but it looks like we have a falling animation now I'll test that out in just a bit. <laughs> anyway, so we got some spotlights. Looks like it should be night. Let's make it night. Ooh, yeah. Beautiful. Okay, we got lights going on down there. Okay, this is cool. This is actually pretty dope. There's the aurora. Oop. What? So this is the main tower. Apparently the main tower and this platform going all the way over here are the only things that actually work. Unfortunately, none of this is habitable or can really do anything, uh, you know, significant. We could walk the path if we want. I think I might do that. Actually, but first, we got to go up here. Check out the com command center. Oh, thank you. So we can sit down and assume our position. Okay, we can't sit down, apparently. Well, that sucks. I was supposed to be able to sit down. All right, never mind. Cool, I can just sit. I can just crouch on the desk. Oh, we can't crouch in this game. Holy crap. Oh, man. This is actually quite beautiful. Let's look at it during the day. I kind of like it during the day. Ooh, that's so beautiful. I love how all of them are actually different too, like the, the designs on these these pathways. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. Now, how do we get them? How do you get them sideways? On the same bit? I guess you could. Yeah, cause I remember doing that before. You can build a different thing. What is this? Oh, that's cool. Okay, we gotta go down and look at this. Where's the safest place to jump? Just right. Okay, I'm falling. Yep. We got a falling animation. Wow, this is. This is expansive, my man. All right, we're going to go down here. Oh, wait. Oh, almost died. Okay. Let me go up here. Try to make a better jump. Hey, we found a PDA. Location uploaded to PDA. Yes. <laughs> Whoa, holy crap. This looks awesome. What is a red glow or the orange glow? What is that? Weird. Okay. So let's make our way downtown. Walking around. Fat. I forgot the words. Oh, the lens dirt. The lens dirt. Just wipe that off, dude. It's really annoying. Just wipe it off. All right. So, uh, still walking. <laughs> oh, whoa. Ooh, the fog. Oh, the fog covers up the whole thing. That's beautiful. All right. So, uh, we can't get into this, can we? You know what I could do? Wait, do I have it? I do have it. Yes. We're going to make ourselves a hatch. Bam. Warning. King 
emergency power oh. only. Oxygen production offline. This thing having a power. Excellent. All right. Well, we got a we got a journey all the way back. <laughs> Great. Also, part of the story says now you might be wondering, hey Fox, why the f didn't you build this underwater? It would have been easier. Well, I'm asking myself the same question. That is a good question. I believe that's probably because Atlantis wasn't supposed to be an underwater city, right? It was sunken. I don't know the the, the full details of the actual story of uh, of Atlantis, but the lost city of Atlantis because it was sunken, right? Which means that if this was built as a city that was then copied over to Earth to give a chance to humans and they ruined it, so then it was sunk, wasn't originally supposed to be underwater, which means that the original copy, aka the one that's here on 4546B, wouldn't be underwater. It would be above water. So maybe there's there's your answer. All right, we'll check, we'll check out one more of these. I don't think that there's anything that we can do. But maybe, maybe Sir Fox put some uh you know, put some Easter eggs in here. That'd be cool too. Ooh. Wow, those shadows are detailed. What the hell? That's like super detailed. Oh, there's scanner rooms? That's pretty cool. That's a nice little deet. Uh, can I get, yeah, let me get, let me get a hatch up in here. Bam, Warning. no power. Emergency power only. Oxygen Ooh. production offline. Ooh, that looks so cool. What, wait, what is this? Oh, those are the cameras, okay. What do we got? Oh, we got reef backs. Let's scan for some reef backs, my dude. Is that what that is? Is a reef back really low? They usually swim pretty high. What are you talking about? Let's go into cat. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, there you are. <laughs> It'd be really hilarious if the reef back like sucks me up to eat me. I mean, what does a reef back actually eat? You know what I'm saying? What does a reef back actually eat? Wait, this the ghost Leviathan should be down here, right? Hold on a second. There's another reef back. Okay. I'm not getting too far, am I? Oh, hey, Warper, what's happening? You want to play? You can't hurt me. I know you want to. Ooh, you actually look pretty cool with the shadow being cast in it. Ooh, okay, he don't want to play. You have no idea where the ghost of Ethan is. I was hoping to get eaten, eaten by one. Hoping to get eight. Okay, nothing I can do. I'm going to leave that. Oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's weird. All right, stop scanning for reef backs. Don't care. Stop it. How do I stop? How do I stop? There it is. Oh, oh, well, well, looky here. Excellent. So we weren't meant to find anything in here. Alrighty. Well, this was Atlantis by Sir Fox. If you guys want to check it out for yourself again, it'll be available for download, uh, which if you guys don't know how to put it into your Subnautica folder, it's pretty easy. Just extract it, copy over the folder that says slot, whatever number it is, go to your games folder, Steam library, Subnautica, Subnautica, app data saved games and you just paste it right next to all the other ones make sure it's not the same number as one you've already have otherwise it's going to mess up everything so uh, i'm not going to go into any more detail on that you guys should know how to do it by now uh i'm lazy so anyway so let's move on to base number two so the second base is called the sea dragon research center which i don't think is the best name for it simply because there is a whole nother aspect to this base that kind of steers away from the sea dragon so the story goes as follows so the base takes place in an alternate storyline where two people survived after going through a similar story as the player they discover that the gun has a malfunction and cannot be disabled they soon realize that their only hope to get off the planet is to use precursor technology in order to fix the gun to disable it. While studying the alien base and Sea Emperor, their research is ruined by the Sea Dragon, the one right outside the base. Armed with only a stasis rifle, titanium, and some precursor technology, they are able to build a giant cage around the Sea Dragon. With something also new to study, their research allows them to finally disable the gun and leave the planet, bringing back precursor technology for mankind to use to become more technologically advanced. After leaving, the only thing left is their base. Now that is this part that they're talking about. If we go, ooh, goodness, hello. All right, motion blur is back on because motion blur is awesome. We get an exosuit here, which I guess we could use to explore. Uh, but here is, ooh, goodness. Oh wait, no, that's, that's not it. It's in here. Giant cage. Now, I find it very, very hard to believe that these people only had a stasis rifle and some titanium making it all the way down here. But you know what? I'm not going to criticize. Observatory. Hey, buddy. So he is partially trapped. Uh, most of his body all... Oh, my God. That's so weird. Uh, yeah, he don't like me. What's up, dude? 
I mean, you are very cute. But anyway, so, you know, his, his body, he doesn't have anything to feed on. This, this is imprisonment. This is not, oh, we'll take care of him and have a pet. No, this is him being imprisoned because we don't like him and he ruined our research. So we left the planet like this. We didn't even bother to open the cage for him. We don't have, there's no problem with him being out. We're crazy, man. We're crazy. Anyway, so that's this part. This is just the one part, though. We say it's the Sea Dragon Research Center, but it really isn't. Um, we then, you know, we, oh God. This whole thing was built with the intention of studying the Emperor and the, and the base itself. Uh, not for this guy, but still pretty cool. I haven't seen one trapped before like that and naturally trapped too. Like it's, oh, wait, what is that? Oh, we got a little sign saying Sea Dragon. That's cool. Uh, this is the scanner room. Uh, can I actually scan? <gasps> oh, oh. I can't move it, though. Oh, there we go. Okay, pretty cool. Wait, what? That's very weird. I like that, though. I like how it's remote uh, viewing of the other area. Primary containment, and this goes to living quarters. Oh, we have a living quarters. Nice. Hey, this is where I want to live. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Man, it must be hot. It has got to be hot. Well, did you hear that? <laughs> he was breathing fire that entire nap. I want to go up there. What the hell is that? Ooh. Ooh. Wait, was that the warper that just made that sound? Oh, get wrecked! <laughs> Did you just see that? He has no fear. This is pretty cool. I like this, this spot right here, actually. It's pretty nice. All right, ooh, we got a... Oh, yeah. Now I'm going to start burning. I don't want to burn. I'm trying to burn today. That's what it looks like about 90% of the time. Tail's just clipping through. Pretty cool. All right, so this one is awesome. This is the part I actually really like. It, this is a very expansive version of any awesome base that I could have possibly built around the Sea Emperor. This goes way deeper. All right, so we go up. As it greets us, I'm assuming maybe we didn't want to touch the precursor base because we're scared. Like, oh no, infectious diseases. Uh, ooh, yeah, this is, this is pretty dope right here. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. That is magnificent. Awesome. Okay, so we go around, go in here, and now the base has to be cut because of the door. Apparently, according to Obo the Hobo, uh, we couldn't uh, we couldn't build right here through this door. So now there's two separate bases, which is we can just imagine that it connected. You know? Ooh, the ominous glow. This is nice. Okay, so we're gonna go down. I think this goes all the way through. We don't actually have to get out in the water. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Uh, Wait. Oh, there you are. Whew, the Emperor. Ooh, Observatory. What's up? What's up, lady? <laughs> Once again, we are back with a base around you. While you're dying. I know it's a peaceful, peaceful journey for you, but uh, I, I'd, I'd rather myself be here with you. Side by side, holding hands, fins, whatever. All right, so we got a scanner room over here. We got some uh, tentacles and a beautiful face and power that's inactive. More power that's inactive. Even more power that's inactive. Cool. How is this base getting power? Uh, okay, we got everything we can imagine in here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this goes outside. I don't need it to. And that's it. Okay. Kind of weird that my pets are, are surrounding the, uh, <laughs> the nuclear power. I don't know how safe that is. Can't say that I support this idea. All right, that goes over to the Emperor's. Let's wait for that one. Where does this go? Where does this go? Oh, this goes back up all the way this one goes to the exosuit cool again we have the scanner room over here let's take a look where is this where's this one? Oh, so there's two of them wait what they both control the same one that is weird wait that can't be right what they control the same exact one that is nuts all right so let's go over to the emperor Take a look and see what we got over here. Just a nice little observatory, it seems like. Ooh. <gasps> we can cure ourselves. Hey, 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 hey. Hang on a second. We can cure ourselves. What's up? What's up, girly? We could use some lights over here. It would be nice. Help her out a bit, you know. 
put a bunch of lights in her face while she's dying. Oh, it's so good. We're terrible people. Oh, I can get out and cure myself. Yay. I'm already cured though, it looks like. Aw. Oh well. I can play I can play a game with that if I want to. Okay, well that is it for this base. Uh if you guys want to check this one out for yourself, of course the link will be down in the description below. So you can download it. Uh hopefully with permission. If if they tell me, hey, I don't want you to to, to allow it to be downloaded, then I'll have to take it away. Sorry. I'm going to assume it's okay. It doesn't give out any personal information or anything like that. So, you know, should be alright. Let's get into the prawn suit. Let's get into the prawn suit and beat the shit out of the emperor. Wow! That was loud and crazy. What happened? Let's go. <laughs> oh, wait, this is a propulsion cannon. Hey, come here. Ha <laughs> ha! It didn't work. It went right through her. Just phased right through her. Anyway, so that is all for this episode. Uh, if you guys want to submit some of your awesome bases, be sure to do that. Uh, if you want some more information on how to do that, join the IG Paradise Discord server. There will be a separate uh, channel where you can get some info on how to, how to submit that to me. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see in the next episode. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!